welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be working with the Masterclass palette from Smashbox, the number three palette that they just came up with. There is a full review on this palette that you may be interested in, but in this video we're going to go for this look that I'm wearing today and you can learn how to achieve it. It's quite easy, very simple to achieve. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so for this look, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Master Palette number three. And there is a full review on this palette. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the uh, information in the box and down below in case you wanna check it out. But I'm going to go for a beautiful, um, colorful look. And this is the palette in case you haven't seen it. Uh, and we're going to try to go for a colorful look. So I'm going to open the side where the blushes are and I'm going actually to pull that out. So this is the side that I'm going to be using. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to work with this one. Okay, so to start I'm going to use a base and I have to confess that I tried using the color two from Maybelline in the white shade and it didn't really work because it's very dry and it doesn't act as a base. So lesson learned, the color tattoo from Maybelline are not meant to be bases, are meant to be eyeshadows on their own. And once they dry, they're not sticky enough to become a base for your eyeshadows to stick to. So don't try it at home. I had to take it off and I start all over again the video. So once again, um, as I was saying, I had to take off everything. So I'm starting again uh, i'm going to be using my nyx jimbo eye pencil in color lavender and uh, i could also use milk but i think lavender will also help me as a base for this matter so i'm just going to go with lavender i'm applying this all over my lid up to the crease and you kind of want to do a little bit upper in the crease than normal. Kind of overpassing a little bit your crease. Now I'm going to use an eye primer. This is my Lorac eye primer. I'm going to use just a tiny little bit of this bad guy in the rest of my eye because I am a true believer that every shadow deserves to have a primer. So I'm going to the rest of the eye that doesn't have anything there. It doesn't just help me to prime, but it also will help the rest of the eyeshadows to stick nicely. So it is a very good idea to do that. All right, and I'm going to start off by using color Rose Petal, which is this very soft kind of rose color. And I'm going to apply that in my inner tear dot and a little bit drawing it towards the inner part of my eye. So I'm just applying it right there. And there is a big difference, guys, let me tell you. Ju just for you to know, that color tattoo thing is not meant to be used as a base for eyeshadows. Okay, so just tear that and draw in it a little bit inwards, like so. Now I'm going to go with color papaya, which is basically a papaya color. And I'm going to use that right in the starting of my eye. And I want to blend that color a little bit with the rose petal that I have over there to have a nice transition of color. So I'm going to go all the way up to the center of my eye with this color. Now I'm going to use this color over here which is called Steel and this is kind of a medium kind of blue and I'm going to use that in the rest of the lid and yes you're going to have their kind of one color here one color there but then we're going to blend it so start by just applying the color and making sure that all the lid is packed on with this color. So I'm just placing the color right now. Once you have that and you have those two lines, one here color, one color here, one color there, you're going to go with a clean brush. And this is a flat brush. 
and I'm going to get this color here that's called sky this is a very light light blue and I'm going to place it in the middle of those two and I'm going to blend those two together so this is going to be my transition color and you don't really need that much of this color just a tiny bit to help you transition from one color to the other and blend in so you want to go back and forth with this color uh, and then blend in until there's no like a line so you want a transition of color and this is going to be a little bit hard because there are two completely different colors but that's how you do it you use another color that's similar to the one and you blend in as a transition so I'm using this light blue as a transition color and blending in both so I don't want to see one color here, one color there. I want to see a transition, which is exactly what I did over here. So there you have both transition colors, and this is really, really nice. Uh, and I know that it might look scary to work with, but it's very, very nice. Now I'm going to use a domed taper brush, and this is my Sigma E45 over here and I'm going to use the color uh, I think it's called Cer Ceruline which is a kind of a deeper blue and I'm going to come right in the outer side and I'm going to deepen that color so there's kind of a transition between the blue and the brighter brighter blue so what I'm doing here is just emphasizing the color. The tapered brush really, really helps me to blend and to have control or where I apply it without going over dramatic with it. Now you want a blending fluffy brush and a clean blending fluffy brush. And you're going to blend everything together in the blue side, just blend in both colors together and then just get rid of any harsh line that you have there. You really want no harsh lines. So if you need to go back and just clean your brush, dry it out a little bit and then come back, go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the same tapered brush that I use. I'm going to clean it a little bit and I'm going to go with uh, color Nocturnal, which is the deepest blue that you have over there. You're going to go very easy with this color. You're going to apply that right in the outer side, but just on the lid. So you really want to place this color right in the lid and leave it there. You don't want to go up all the way into the crease. So again, I'm just going to come right into my lower lash line and apply this color right and the lower lid up to the crease you're not going to go all the way up where all the color is just there now with a clean blending brush you're going to come back and blend that inwards and make sure there's no harsh lines no harsh lines now all I need is a color that will help me uh, to blend everything together in the crease so I'm going to go with one of the colors that came in the blushes. So I'm going to use a blush as my transition color and I'm going to be using flush, which is this one here. So if you see this color, it's kind of a medium pink to brown color. That's going to help me a lot to blend everything in. So I'm going to go with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to be using one that's a little bit more domed uh, this is from Sephora and I'm going to use this color right above everything that I have placed so I'm not blending all the colors together I'm just placing the color above everything that I have there and then I'm coming back and forth in a windshield wiping motion and this is a transition color that actually what it does is helps you to blend in 
the colors into the crease. Now, right now, I'm going to use a highlight, and I'm going to use a highlight from the other side of the palette. And I'm going to use vanilla, which is this white um, kind of ivory color, and I'm going to use it right underneath my brow, and this is going to act as my highlighter. All right. So now all I have to do is uh, do my lower lash line. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to go with a pencil brush and I'm going to use Nocturnal, which is the darker blue. I'm going to go all along the first half of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to use a Serpent for the rest of the lash line. And I'm going to use it to close the rest of the lash line like that. Now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to go with MV which is a bright green and I'm going to use it on top of Serpent. And then guys I think you already know the order of this is I need to do my liner, curl up my lashes, put on mascara, apply my falsies and I'll be right back. Now for this look I'm going to apply the Eyelure Natural Tease Natural Texture eyelashes this is the ones that I'm going to be using I just wanted to show you guys before I put them on because they're awesome all right so I have applied my falsies and I have done um, my liner let me do a close-up guys so you can actually see this is the look for the eyes very very flattering I keep just pushing my Lashes a little bit higher so it actually, you know, are a little bit more noticeable, but it's really up to you how dramatic you want your lashes. I really like these lashes. All right, so the only thing that I'm missing is applying a little bit of blush. So um, I'm going to use my All About Them Apples just because I'm in love with this thing. I should do a review on this actually. Um, I'm actually going to be using Crisp, which is lately the color that I'm using the most and I'm going to apply it right to the apples of my cheeks and it has a little bit of shimmer so you don't really need much of a highlighter I already have some on but it's really good now for my lips I'm going to use my Sephora uh, lip pencil this is in color 17 or funky fuchsia I'm going to line my lips and now I'm going to go with Melted Marshmallow from Too Faced. I'm going to use it all along. Now I would like to contour a little bit my lips and to do that I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. This is the Sephora concealer that really truly matches my skin color. Um, this is in color medium or 29. And I'm just going to go with my pinky finger. I'm going to rub a little bit of that color. And I'm going to put it right in the center of my lips. So over there, that actually will help you kind of mm, contour your lips to make them look a little bit fuller. Now all I'm going to use is a lip gloss and you can use any lip gloss that you like. I'm going to be using my Skinny Kiss Flavored Lip Gloss from, um, this is Victoria's Secret. And there you go. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was very fun. There's always way too many ways to put together looks with color and color mixtures. I really hope this is something that you would be aiming to do and to try for your own self. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to leave your comments down below if you have any questions, if you want to say hi, anything at all. If you missed a product, if I missed a product, let me know. I will get back to it as soon as I can. Also, if you have not subscribed, please do because there are so many more videos to come that you really want to keep tuned. And also, please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram that I just opened my account. Um, if you would like to keep receiving um, notifications on beauty news and some other makeup techniques and also I'll keep posting there every time that I upload a video so you won't miss it either. So. I really hope this was helpful, so like the video if you liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.